Yeah, the hurricane season continues to go on in the Atlantic Basin. It, it, it's been a busy season now as we've gone through 16 storms, only five more names less left on our list right now. Uh, so again, we've had 17 storms, now 16 storms within the hurricane season, which runs between uh, June and uh, through the month of November. But we also had an unnamed subtropical storm in the Atlantic during the month of January. So that's why we have 17 storms right now, including six hurricanes. And of those six hurricanes, we've had three major hurricanes. You can see that on the purple tracks here. There were, of course, Idalia, Franklin, and then all also Lee. And it's interesting that all of their tracks, see how they all came right together east, or I should say west of Bermuda. We've also had three impacts along the United States, Harold, Idalia, and of course, Ophelia, Idalia being the strongest of the impacts. That was a major hurricane that came ashore along the Big Bend of Florida uh, during the latter half of August here. All right, what's uh, occurring as we go forward here? Obviously, we're starting to get into the downward slope, but, but I'll tell you what, watch October. We get a few bumps early October and late October where we see an increase in activity. Where do we look? Well, you start, start looking a little closer to the United States, although you could still get some long track storms, especially early in the month, but you start looking for what? Homegrown development, Northwest Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, and off the East Coast of the United States, you typically get a couple of hurricanes still to form during this time.